In fact, considering everyone's relative strengths and weaknesses, it makes the most sense for me to fall back. This way, you'll have more chances to work out whatever it is that's standing in the way of you forming a link. You have my thanks. We'll take you up on your offer then. That's what I like to hear. <sighs> you really can be audacious sometimes, you know. <laughs> Just like you were with me and Eusis. You think? I don't really think I did anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> That's so you, Reen, to not think anything of it. Still, thanks to you, there might be hope for these two after all. We'll do what we can. But first, we need to get back to the hotel, right? All right, so Reen's out. <laughs> I actually think that she should probably go in the middle. Yeah. All right. Now this part, you probably you probably wonder. Oh shit, like, where do we go from here? Do we go back just straight back to the hotel? I was like, nope. Secret passage. a damn disservice. Keep on forgetting to put that damn thing on. Detection! So we can actually see the damn chest. <laughs> Tripping. You put this on, like, you, you don't even have to look around and, uh, guess if something's there. I made that difficult on myself. By treasure. Must be getting close to the exit now. Oh, that's the only one. Okay, that's the one that lets you leave. Yeah. Hell of a passage, huh? Yeah, I think you can fish here, and this is like another scene or something like that. I don't know.
Guru Sue. All right. So basically, just go over here and say hey. It's not like they're right in front of you. Is that a treasure chest out here? Yeah, I guess not. That is where Elliot should have been. Just, just saying it, calling like I see it. It's <laughs> Kalinka. <laughs> she should be black. <laughs> it's quite the name. <laughs> Most of these people you meet, like the phone people, they they real nice folks. <laughs> you know, usually in the old RPG games, they go back and see their old friends. Their friends like, what's going on, Elliot Punk? You know, if you see that, maybe I'll uh, see you around and push them and stuff like that. There's <laughs> always some dude that's like that. That gotta be an asshole because oh, you left us or uh, some shit like that. Think you're better than us because you're at that military academy, huh? <laughs> okay. They're gonna be this in my school, man. Time, uh, time jet. She's like, hey, are you what gonna cry? I think the you only got one um, required quest the next day. No, you know what? There is another one that you need. Now that I think about it, um, damn. I think you have to do one of the um, well. If I want to get that item at the end of the game from the straps. I think the one it gives a strap for the uh, it goes along with the fog strap and stuff. It's just a nice item. I think it's like you have to find this cat. It don't take long. I'll do it though. Whoa, this is incredible. 
He could open a shop with all the instruments here. A piano, violins, wind instruments, a robust percussion section. I'm assuming the papers in the cabinet are all sheet music? There's no way you can call this just a hobby. <laughs> yeah, coming in here, this must look like some rabid obsession to you guys. You know, my mom was a pretty famous pianist. Being raised around music like that, ah, my it. sister and I ended up sharing her love of music. Really? Looking at all this, I can see why you decided to join the wind orchestra at the academy. Still, why didn't you go to the same school as the people we met earlier? Fee? Correct, though. It's a great question. Wait, Fee, that's not... <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm sure this comes as no surprise. But I'd originally planned to attend the music academy. Oh. <sighs> Why is he so shocked by that? My sister and I grew up listening to our mom play the piano. Dad was more the strong, stoic type. He didn't know much about music, but he was head over heels in love with her. You could act, you could see why. Our home though. was always filled with the sound of music, and it kept our family smiling together. But seven years ago, mom got really ill. Eventually, she passed away. After her death, my sister and I both wanted to follow in her footsteps. She enrolled at the music academy and began working toward a career as a pianist. Naturally, I tried to do the same, but Dad wouldn't hear of it. It's one thing to have it as a hobby, but the idea of a man of the Empire making his living through music is absurd. <laughs> no matter how hard I tried to convince him, he just shook his head and refused to listen. Dude was hurt, man. He lost his wife. Then he started recommending one military academy after another, trying to push me toward a career in the army. Eventually, I didn't have much choice. I had to give up my dream of attending the music academy. I hated him for it. I really did. I'm no good at fighting. Never have been. I get smoked in a real war. That is true. But after some research, I found <laughs> one academy, Thor's, offered plenty of music-related classes. He even admitted it himself. He was like, I smoked in a real fight. And that about half of its graduates end up in careers outside the military. In the end, I met him halfway and chose to enroll at Thor's. <laughs> Kinda pathetic, huh? You've all got great reasons why you're there at the academy. Then there's me, who'd rather be on a stage than a battlefield. But I couldn't go against my dad. For a while, I started to think that maybe my passion for music had kind of cooled off. But I'm still full of regrets about the Music Academy and the Summer Festival concert, so I guess it hasn't after all. I see, that's the reason why it's hard for me to connect with him through the game. He's a good character, he's solid. He has, like, in this game, I know he has, like, this broken defensive move. But other than that, I mean, when it comes to magic, you got Emma, who's like dumb strong and I mean, gets stronger. And then in the later games, it's like he's there and he's like the emotional kind of center sometimes of the group and says these, these good lines and everything like that. But it's like he's just there. And you're like, am I going to use Elliot right here? Well, if they force me to, I'll use him. But it's like, am I going to really put insert him in the party? If uh, otherwise, and it's like, eh, probably not. Like, and it's not, it's not no diss to him, but he, he even said himself, he doesn't even want to be there. He just is there because his friends are, and he wants to protect his friends, and you know. Oh, I wish I could just crawl into a hole right now. Tell the truth, though. So that's how you ended up at Thor's. I had no idea. <sighs> Do you regret it? You can tell he does. Coming to Thor's and all? They're probably the best part about it. Huh? Of course not. Mm -mm. Why would I? Huh? So you don't? Life at the Academy keeps me busy, but I still have time to perform with the wind orchestra after class is out. And I feel like I really broaden my horizons every time we go on a field study. Honestly, I feel like I get more out of Thor's than if I had just enrolled at the Music Academy without much thought. 
Hmm. Maybe it's because whether I decide I want to be a musician or do something else totally different, I'll at least have the chance to choose what I want without someone deciding for me. I feel them on it. Elliot, wow, you've really given this a lot of thought. You really are strong, Elliot. <laughs> I wish I thought so too. I still feel jealous when I see my friends who went to the music academy putting their heart and soul into their music. But even with that, I've got no regrets about coming to Thor's. None at all. Besides, if I hadn't come, I never would have met you guys, would I? Exactly. I'd regret that way more. How I can, can you I can say that it. with a straight face? God, he means it. Maybe he's just oblivious. I didn't think I was saying anything particularly embarrassing. <laughs> I'd figured that most people would blush saying something like that. <laughs> Still, this is Elliot we're talking about. He can get away with it. You're the last person who should be saying that, Reen. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, I just remembered. I guess I do have one regret after all. Oh? What is it? Remember the summer festival concert my friends said they're going to be performing in? Back when my mom was still alive, she performed in it, and my sister played in it five years ago too. So I was really hoping that I'd be able to take the stage there one day too. Hmm. I think a part of him regrets it. He just didn't, you know, really want to say. But I also think he made friends with them and you know, everybody's so cool, so they, he just kind of like, you know, he sees them as, you know, uh, kind of his home away from home. Oh, he's staying home, okay. <laughs> really? Wow. You look at look at Laura in the background. <laughs> Well, damn. <laughs> Inside the blue. I challenge you to a duet. She's so matter of factly about it. All right, all right. <laughs> well, I wait, what? Night, I mean, the heavy nightlife. Damn right. Let, let them get it out. I told you. Let them fight. That's, that's, that's always my motto. People got beef with each other. Let them fight. Oh, yeah. Before you do this, um... Go to Fee and Laura, I learned this the hard way, and put 
things on them that have uh prevent petrify and you'll find out in a minute why I'm doing that oh I put something else oh no it does petrify yeah um fee and lord okay remember this <laughs> And there is a reason why I'm gonna um and you go to Made Park. <laughs> Put a sock in it. Ain't heard that one in a minute. Most people now just be like, man, shut the fuck up, man. God damn. Alright. Oh, you get a chance to do it here, too. I didn't think you did. What the hell is that? Ah, oh, what a pleasant evening. It's pretty relaxing. No denying those two have some surprising similarities. Yeah, that's it, okay. So you head over here. Hmm. I don't see any people in this part of the park. I'm fine with here if you are. Ugh. All right, Fee. Here are my conditions. If I win this duel, I want you to tell me about your past. Your personal history. At first, there was something about your strength that I couldn't bring myself to accept. From the moment we first met, I could tell you were holding back. And considering your build, your combat proficiency is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. It's simply too far removed from what I've come to know through following the way of the sword. No doubt. <laughs> really? Yeah. All things considered, Fee's strength is totally improbable for someone her size. To add to that, you were once part of a <laughs> no Jaeger. No doubt. <laughs> I can't say I've ever thought of the Jaegers in a particularly favorable light. If one defines knighthood as the way of the virtuous, how can the path of the Jaeger be seen as anything but corrupt? I came to believe that because we'd been raised with such strongly opposing values, I could not accept you. <gasps> However, I was mistaken. <laughs> After hearing Elliot's story, I asked myself again why it was that I felt such resistance to fighting alongside you. I tried to ascertain my own feelings, and that was when I finally realized, during all these months we spent together, I've known deep down that you were worthy of my trust. Our values had nothing to do with that judgment. It came from my heart alone. <sighs> but in my stubbornness, I refused to acknowledge that one simple truth. In my heart, I had already deemed you worthy of trust. Yet in my mind, I still couldn't see past our incompatibilities. Mm. I suspect that contradiction was what prevented us from using our Arcus to fight as one. <sighs> so, that's how it was. Did you know about this? Yeah, I noticed during our fight with that monster earlier. You aren't the only one who thought we couldn't get along. You live your life so... honestly. I guess somewhere along the way I'd given up on you ever accepting me. I see. Still, what does this have to do with wanting to know about my past? Why do you want to know? <laughs> it's very simple, really. I want to know because I like you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the step back. She was like, um, uh, what? The fuck? I find it frustrating when I'm not able to understand those I've taken an interest in or have a high opinion of. 
I felt like this several months ago with Reem, and I feel the same way now. That is true, she did have that feeling. That's why I want to know your history. I want to know what shaped you into who you are now. That said, this is simply an act of self-indulgence on my part. Nothing more, nothing less. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. That's our lore, all right. You really are something else. It's fine. I don't mind telling you. But taking your spoils by force is the Jaeger's way through and through. Is that okay with you? <laughs> it's fine. Because I have no intention of thinking of my reward as a spoil of battle. I'd much rather consider it an honor, bestowed for a hard-won victory. Fine by me. You just talk things out. Why do you even need to fight now? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I don't understand. All right, I'll officiate your duel. Neither of you need to hold anything back. If I think it's getting too dangerous, I'll step in and stop the fight. Very well. Thanks. There we go. Light it up. <laughs> Shatter. Target locked. Uh. Here. <laughs> he threw a grenade at her. <laughs> oh, wow, dude. Impressive. Same to you. Then I won't hold back. Allow me to show my strongest skill learned from my father. Then I'll show you my strongest. Learned it from the boss himself. Here we go. That's enough! I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... I couldn't even tell who won. What about you, Reen? I feel bad saying this after volunteering to be the judge. But, as far as I could tell, it was a draw. It really. was not. <sighs> well, I suppose it is what it is. I'll simply have to continue my training and challenge you again another time. And don't forget, I still wish to duel you as well. Wait, why me? <laughs> Honestly. Actually, I lost this one. Huh? Jaegers are at our best when we fight at night. The darkness gives us an edge. But even after I threw out a flash grenade, the duel still ended in a draw. If we'd fought during the day, I would have lost. That's... She has a point. Well then. Very well. I'll accept this victory. Hmm. Well, anyway, I guess the two of us should go for a little stroll then. I don't mind if you listen. Is that fine with you, Laura? I have no objections. We're all in this together. Okay. I used to be part of a Jaeger Corps called Zephyr. Before that, my earliest memories are of explosions and battlefields. I found myself wandering in a war-torn hotspot on the outskirts of some country I never even knew the name of. Jaeger Corps threw themselves into battle for the highest bidder day after day, while I wandered alone. The man who eventually took me in called himself the Jaeger King. He was the leader of Zephyr, a pretty famous Jaeger Corps. He was middle-aged, crafty, stubborn, and lucky. He always seemed so carefree, but he never let his guard down. To me, though, he was the closest thing to a father I've ever had. The other members of Zephyr had their quirks, but they were all nice to me. As time went on, I started helping with the cleaning, the cooking, the packing. During my free time, they started teaching me all kinds of skills I'd need to survive on the battlefield. 
One thing led to another, and I ended up fighting in my first real battle. I was 10, I think. I never noticed there was another girl in that group. The boss was reluctant, but after the others persuaded him, he made me a full-fledged member of the group. For the next few years, we lived and fought together. I even picked up a nickname like some career Jaegers do. Sylphied. We roamed all across the continent together. There were hard times. Times when we thought we might not live through the night, but we always did. Together. Until last year, when our boss died. It was a clash with another Jaeger Corps, the Red Constellation. People used to say they were the only other Jaeger Corps in West Zemuria who could match us. Their leader, a guy they called the War God, had been on bad terms with our boss for years. Eventually, the War God and the Jaeger King decided to settle things with one big duel. They kept going for three days and three nights. Three and days and three nights. Who the hell fights for three days and three nights? Like, you got a bathroom break, nothing, like, yo, bro, I gotta call my wife and kids, like, something. After that, the Zephyr I'd grown up with disbanded. I want to know who the other girl was right there. I never paid attention to it last time. All the members who were left just kind of scattered. Then, just like that, I was alone again. I... Uh, I don't know what to say. After that, you ended up coming to the Academy? Yep. Just when I was wondering what I'd do next, Sarah showed up. She said she'd been following the situation between Zephyr and the Red Constellation. That's how we first met. I told her about what happened, and she dragged me to the Academy. She introduced me to the principal. And after that, well, you know the rest. That's quite a history. Listening to you tell your story really brings into focus how limited my view of the world has been. I feel like I finally know you. There's still so much more I want to learn, of course, but at least this gives me a base to build on. How about it? Care to mix things up a little? Oh. Let's do it. Okay. And this is why I told you to put the petrify things on them. Now wait just a minute. <sighs> I should have known. <laughs> I guess I've had this coming since the practical exam, huh? Well, it's at your discretion, of course. I doubt either of us has the energy to fight at our peak. But we'll give it a try. You've got to be kidding me! We haven't got a <laughs> chance against them! Come on, this is a good opportunity to see what they can really do, right? Let's just think of this as a little bonus for our field study and give it the best we've got. Uh, fine. But I don't intend to hold back, so I expect no less from both of you. <laughs> you have my thanks. Here we go. I'm not going to hold back. Fine, I'll do it. All right. So and the reason why you put the petrify stat on because he has that petrification shell move, and it will petrify you. And if Rain hits you and petrifies you, you die, and you will lose this fight. So definitely put something uh, that blocks the petrification because it's very accurate and hits almost every time. Right. I wish I had a um. An S craft right about now. I'll handle it. 
And I, this is, and this, I feel like green and uh. Hang in there, everyone. Thanks. I feel like Reen and Machius definitely should have bodied them, like uh, from of everything. Course. But you're supposed there. to win this fight. They are. Okay. See, I'm saying how she easily is dodging it. Of course. Locked and loaded. There it is. Okay. And that and it hits it hits every time too, just about. I think I I, I got hit with it every time the first time I fought them. Nearly died, but I ended up beating him. Hang in there, everyone. Thanks. He's a spamming asshole too. I'll handle it. Uh, let's see here. Good ripper. Here we go. Yeah, that hurt. All right, let's do this. Leave it to me. My turn. No escape. There we go. Okay. He's out of there. This is so ridiculous. Right. <laughs> Shatter. Jeez. He's out of there. Should have seen that coming. Evil will fall before my blade. <laughs> we... we did it. Uh-huh. You too. It's like they're off in their own little world. <laughs> hmm. I think we've just witnessed the birth. Hey, what are you four doing? Damn it, I hit it with my thumb. Oh, crap. Uh oh. Students, are you from one of the local high schools? We received reports of a group causing a terrible racket in the park. What in Adios' name were you doing? Uh, please, sir, that, this isn't what it might seem like. <laughs> There's a perfectly reasonable, uh, though admittedly rather complicated explanation for all of this. Um, we're very sorry for any trouble we've caused. We tried to minimize the disturbance to others, but it seems we weren't totally successful there. Hmm. Perhaps dueling in the park wasn't as good of an idea as it first seemed. Maybe the underground tunnels would have been better. Maybe. You know, it's a little late for such deep insights. Besides, who do you think were the ones who started this? Don't just act like you're some innocent bystanders. <laughs> oh damn, they actually went up a low. Ooh, you're moving up in the world. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Drinks are on me someday. Okay. Huh? Are they all still asleep? It's almost time for breakfast. Oh, it's you, Elliot. Sorry, we didn't mean to keep you waiting. W what's wrong? You look exhausted. <laughs> It might say we had a pretty eventful night. Look at these geriatrics. 
<laughs> On the other hand, as you can see, we have gusto to spare. Isn't that right, Fee? <laughs> and you call yourselves men. That's fucked up. How can you two just waltz around like that after last night? I, are you even human? Whoa, whoa, just calm down. Wow, what the heck did you guys do last night? The two of you look like you've been chased around town by wolves, but Fee and Laura are all buddy-buddy now. Yeah, we'll catch you up on that later. First things first, let's grab the list of today's tasks from the mailbox. Uh... Alright, well... That was interesting. <laughs> they were right to leave Elliot out. He had, see what I'm saying? Even the game, though, he had no business being there. I think we, um, I think it's the no-no quest right there at the bottom is the one that you get the strap for that goes to that I, those items I was telling you about. Yeah, I think it's a kitty strap, if I'm not mistaken. I'll do it. I'm just to show you, you know, the stuff you need to get to have the item. Hope I didn't miss one. Trying to think right now. It's not like a major the break the game item and then like that. But it's just an item I thought like you could passively um, get because they don't tell you, they don't tell you to hold on to it. And I held on to it and I ended up seeing like oh that ended up making this item on huh? cool. So that's the reason why I'm showing it. It's not like a big deal or anything like that though. It's a pretty decent item. Okay, all right. I want to stop it right here. Um, got some business to take care of, but I'll save it. But I want to say um, thank you to everybody that's been rocking with me um, on the channel, checking out the vids, you know, leaving comments or likes, whatever. If you even just views, it's cool. Um, I think uh, I ended up recording a video with Tomb Raider on it the other day, and I'd had my mic muted the whole time, which is a dumb, dumb move. <laughs> but I, uh, I'm going to be finishing up that, and I'm thinking about starting Mass Effect Andromeda um, alongside the Trails game. I just got to, I'm going to see how it all works out, and then move through the rest of the Tomb Raider trilogy. Uh, I think that's, that's it for right now. I don't want to put too much on my plate. There's a, a few other games that come out, but I have to dive into this stuff when I can. Um, but uh, thank you guys. Um, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Uh, it helps grow the channel. You know, I definitely want to do think bigger things with the channel, more talks and more things with other gamers, uh, things like that. But um, I will see you guys in the next vid. Thank you always. Peace.